Welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Stephen Brower. I'm the medical director of the Lefcourt Family Cancer Treatment and Wellness Center. And on behalf of all of the members in the Cancer Center, I want to salute and congratulate you, all of our survivors or individuals living with cancer within the Cancer Center. You know, it's amazing that today there are 14 million people in the United States who are survivors of cancer. And you are amongst the most important to us because you are family within the Left Court Family Cancer Treatment and Wellness Center. It's an incredible time for us to be caring with you and speaking with you and your families in this odyssey of survivorship with cancer. And the reason is because there are more treatments than we have ever had before in the last few years that are turning some forms of cancer into chronic disease, curing other cancers, and making the quality of life for those living with cancer much more improved. And these cancers that we are most successful with have been some of the most difficult cancers to take care of throughout the years. Cancers like lung cancer, kidney cancer, lymphoma, head and neck cancer, and all the common cancers such as breast, colorectal cancer, prostate, have benefited greatly, and you are the recipients as survivors. So once again, on behalf of our entire team, this is the most important day that I'm talking with you, and it gives me most pleasure to salute all of you and your families as survivors with cancer. Thank you. Welcome, friends. I am honored to be part of this survivorship meeting and to welcome you to the many resources we have lined up for you. I'm Dr. Jawar, Chief of Hematology and Oncology at Hope Englewood, and I've been at Englewood Hospital for the past two decades. Uh, I'm also Associate Director of the Cancer Center, and it is my great honor to be part of your beautiful celebration of survivorship. As you know, this journey has been long and complicated, but now you're in the new phase. And with this new phase comes many questions. What to expect, how to be followed, what tests need to be done. And I have good news for you. At Englewood, we have a program called the Survivorship Program and a Care Plan. And what that does is exactly answer all these questions for you. It addresses how often you'll see your physician, how you'd be followed, what tests and scans would need to be done, at what intervals. And not only that, there are side effects with chemotherapy or radiation or surgery that you might feel through this period. And at this point, everything comes together in terms of managing the side effects that have been on with you. And what we have is not only advice, but the resources to manage whether it's the tingling numbness from chemo with the help of acupuncture, fatigue from surgery or chemo or radiation, with the help of Reiki, acupuncture, and other integrative medicine options. So we not only advise you how to manage some of the side effects that you go through, but we handhold you to connect you to the resources that exist at Englewood Hospital, all under one roof at the Cancer Center. I'm sure this is such an emotional period for you as well. You know, there's joy of having completed and moved on but there's also fear of what to expect and how to deal with it. And we have a wonderful group of social workers and navigators who will handhold you through that process and make the right connections to support you. And the big piece of all this is it's not just you. It's you, your close family and friends who stood by you during this period and we have a way to engulf them in the support as the caretakers for you, be it by the Graf Center or our social work support. We have all these services available to you so that this next phase is as peaceful 
and as optimistic as it can be, and filled with joy and positivity. Hi, we're the Patient Navigation Team. Neve Cahill. Laura Torres. Liz Rostogi. And I'm Kathy Verhulst. We celebrate you today. We honor each step that you have taken. We applaud the completion of each segment of your treatment. And we are here to help as you continue to move through your care. Please let us know if we can help in any way with information, services, or support. Hi, I'm Kevin Yao, neurosurgeon. Today is a celebration about you and about the journey that you've taken. That journey reminds us every day to cherish every moment, every loved one, and every feeling. And it's been my pleasure and privilege to accompany you in this journey. Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Shapiro, Chief of Radiology at Englewood Health, and I would like to welcome all of the survivors. As Chief of the Department of Radiology, we are working very hard for our cancer patients behind the scenes. We are the physicians that interpret all of the scans from diagnosis through treatment. We work very closely with your physicians. And personally, nothing makes me happier that when I am reading a CAT scan or an MRI on a patient who previously had cancer, and that, that current diagnostic study is negative, normal, no evidence of disease, that is a success. And the fact that you are all here today participating in our survivors event, that's what the physicians at Englewood Health strive for. You are our success. We work together and we thank you for choosing Englewood Health as your place of destination for your health care. Hi, I'm Dr. Christo Stavropoulos, Director of Thoracic Oncology at the Cancer Center. I'm happy to have contributed in any small way to your care and overall wellness. Remember, if you meet certain criteria, don't forget to undergo lung cancer screening. Please refer to your doctor's recommendations. We're here for you. All the best. Hi, I'm Dr. Rochelle Young, breast surgical oncologist and Englewood Health's Commission on Cancer Survivorship Coordinator. It brings me great joy to be here with you today, but more importantly, to be a part of your healthcare journey. Here at Englewood Health, we treasure our cancer survivors and provide great supportive services even after your treatment has ended. Referrals to the Graf Center for Integrative Medicine, Social Work, Talk Therapy, as well as nutritional services are just some of the services we are committed to provide to our patients. Remember to get your annual mammograms. Please stay well, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your summer. Hi, I'm Mia Gaines, and we are your radiation oncology team. We are happy to have been part of your journey. National Cancer Survivors Day is a day of celebration for those who have survived, an inspiration for those recently diagnosed, a gathering of support for family, and an outreach to the community. Our continued mission is to deliver the highest quality of care with the latest in technology in radiation and oncology. Today, we have more cancer survivors than ever before, and together we could continue the fight against cancer. Remember to get your annual prescribed screenings, such as mammograms, colonoscopies, and lung screenings. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Verga. I'm the Chief of Pathology here at Englewood Hospital and Vice President of the Medical Staff. We'd like to welcome you here to the Cancer Survivorship Program. We are so happy that we were part of your care here at Englewood. We hope that you continue to screen, to be proactive in your care, and use all our screening um, modalities in breast, colon, and in lung. And we hope that we will continue to help you in every way possible for your future. So welcome to our program. Hello. Welcome to our virtual survivor celebration. I just want to congratulate all the survivors who are in attendance for thriving and growing and just doing what you do, even with a diagnosis of cancer. You've been an inspiration to all of us. I'm Dr. Violet Merle McIntosh, and I have been here at Englewood Health for the past 23 and a half years. Many of you are on. We've been on this journey together. I thank you for the inspiration you've been to me. I'm happy to be of service. I'm happy to be here for you whenever you need me. And I encourage you to continue 
doing what you're doing. And as you do that, also encourage your friends and your family to do their screenings so that they too can survive cancer if ever they're diagnosed. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Justine Delati. I'm a registered dietitian and I work with our oncology patients. Nutrition for survivorship is about having a healthy, balanced diet. One way you can think of creating a healthy, balanced meal is to have half of your plate be produce, fruits and vegetables, have a quarter to be protein, and a quarter to be high fiber starch. So fruits and vegetables, you want a variety through, we say eat the rainbow because you want to try to get all of those different color pigments. Um, Fruits and vegetables can be fresh, frozen, canned, but with no added sugar or salt. The protein food can be lean white meat chicken, low fat dairy, eggs, fish. It's best to have less red meat, especially processed meat like deli meats, sausage, ham, bacon, salami, those types of things. A quarter of your plate you want to be high fiber starch, which is things like quinoa, whole grains, lentils, oats, beans, sweet potato. Some of these cross over into the vegetable section as well, but high fiber starch. If you have lost weight during your treatment and you are trying to regain healthy weight, you can do so with nutrient dense and energy dense foods. So nutrient dense, a lot of nutrition in the food. You don't have to do it with unhealthy foods or fast food, junk food, snack foods. You can and should be done with things that are healthy and have good protein, such as nuts and seeds, beans and peas, fish, chicken, uh, low-fat dairy, and some healthy high-fat foods like avocado, olives, olive oil, nuts and seeds. These things can be added either as toppings, as condiments, like guacamole, hummus. Another method to choose healthy foods is to label read. And definitely turn to the Nutrition Fact panel and the ingredients, not just the front. Hello, my name is Dr. Tracy Scheller, and I am the Medical Director at the Graf Center for Integrative Medicine at Englewood Health. Welcome to our Survivors event. I may have seen some of you during your journey for symptoms attributed to your diagnosis, and I can continue to see you enter survivorship for guidance on how to eat healthy and keep stress levels down. I'm so happy to be part of your health journey. We offer evidence-based care in a spa-like setting at the Graf Center, such as acupuncture, massage therapy, Reiki, nutritional counseling, aromatherapy, smoking cessation, as well as classes for meditation and yoga. As you may know, both men and women can have a private consultation with me to develop a plan for healthy healing that addresses all aspects of health. I hope to see you soon. Hello friends. Congratulations on attaining this exciting and significant milestone of overcoming and surviving cancer. I am Dr. Michael Schleider. I have been privileged to practice at Englewood Hospital for over 40 years. I'm grateful that I've been able to help many of you overcome the myriad of challenges that cancer and its treatments present. During this period, the advances in cancer therapeutics have been nothing short of miraculous, and your stories are the living testimony. You and your successes represent a beacon of inspiration and hope for those who are still fighting. May you continue to be blessed with good health, much happiness, and the fulfillment of all your pursuits. Here's to you. As you know, music therapy is a big part of de-stressing and keeping up with the positivity. So my 12-year-old daughter, Yashvi, wanted to do something for you, and she decided to play a piece on her piano so that you could enjoy it. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to take care of you and wishing you well for the journey that comes about.